Hello everyone, welcome back. So this week we have another patron request and it is a movie called Mask that came out in 1985. So please don't confuse this with the movie The Mask. Um, this is with Cher and not, um, I believe his name is Jim Carrey or is it Drew Carey? Um, the guy who played in Bruce Almighty. Bruce Almighty. Him. Um, so, yeah, this patron request comes from uh, Jeff Bosniak. And I, I, know, I know very little about the movie other than what I gleamed barely just looking it up. Um, so it looks like the movie is going to be about Cher. <laughs> Um, not Cher, but she's in it, and a kid that has a deformity of some kind. Um, and based on the reviews, this is a very touching movie, very heartfelt. Um, I think it's not hard to see that if it's based on some someone having a deformity, it's probably also kind of revolving around them coping with it and um, learning to live with it or um, be happy with themselves. But yeah, let's just, let's get into it. So far, every movie that I've had recommended to me has been a, just like a big hit in my own mind. Um, I've loved them all. Sometimes, you know, as I've said, uh, movies that don't make it onto the top 100 lists are the gems that you just never hear about. Um, I, one movie, I'm just going to sneak this in here, uh, you know, kind of promo myself. One movie that I absolutely loved and I just, <sighs> it almost makes me a little bit upset that people seem to be just sleeping on it so hard is The Void. Um, cause I reacted to that and I thought, I mean, when I first reacted to it, I was like, I gotta get this up. I gotta get this out there. People gotta see this. And I don't know, people just be sleeping on that movie. You got, you guys, you got, you gotta see some of these movies, but at the same point, I'm not any better because I haven't seen these movies either. And you know what? I think it's the movie critics fault. Like we need to stop listening to what movie critics say because they only look at the movies that are, like, in the big box office um, range. They, they don't look at, like, independent movies or movies that maybe don't get as much marketing or glam. So, hmm, my two thoughts. Anywho, if you like this video, give it a like. I really, I appreciate all the thumbs up. Um, I really love the comments, love talking to you, love interacting with you, so leave a comment. And if you want to see more of this, go ahead and hit subscribe. Uh, full video in the description down below. Come talk to me on Discord. Let's get to this. Don't get me wrong, I love horror, but who doesn't love a good, feel-good movie, right? I've never actually listened to any of Cher's music besides Life After Love? Or is it just called Believe? Collect baseball cards. Is it just a physical deformity? Does it affect like Cognitive ability. Hey, Mom. What? We got what we gotta do this morning. Jesus, who's that? My son. She a single mom? I don't think so. Give her a ride home. Mom, I don't think so. I'm sorry. Hey, Rube Walker, card number 108. 108. Brooklyn Dodgers. 1955. Good years. Oh, he's enrolling in school. Hi, I'm here to uh, register my son for the ninth grade. Miss Dennis, there are special schools with wonderful facilities. 
Do you teach algebra and biology and English here? Those are his needs. Do you know what? Don't jerk me around. I'm not in the mood. I've had a real crappy day so far. Uh, my lawyer's name is B.D. Higgins, and he's told me of my rights. If you give me any shit at all, he's going to drag your ass into court. Everything will be cool. Thanks a lot. See you next week. He's probably used to people reacting Mom, differently what? to him. We have a lawyer named B.D. Higgins? Yeah, bulldozer. It's nice that he has, like, a whole group of people. Your jaw measurement only increased one-eighth of an inch. Wow. I'm cured. <laughs> I'm healed. I can go home now. You new around here? Yes, I am. That Station. means it wasn't my mom or dad's fault. Hello, Rocky. Hmm. Hey, Doc Rudinsky. I like this guy more. Yeah. They've been getting pretty bad lately. Do you have any questions? Yeah. When are you going to vent one of these things so a guy's rear end isn't always hanging out? <laughs> I'd like to do the follow-up counseling with that patient's mother myself. Now, there's a great idea. <laughs> She's going to eat him alive. <laughs> Why doesn't he wait outside? What for? So we can talk. Talk. Prognosis is not good. Life expectancy is... Three to six, three months. To six months. You're oh not going to really God. give us that life expectancy number again, are you? You know, for 12 years, I've been listening to you guys' bullshit. If I had dug his grave every time one of you geniuses told me he was going to die, I'd be eaten fucking chop suey in China by now. This must take a huge toll on the parent, too. Hey, look who's here. The prodigal son returns. Hey, Rocky. Hey, Ben, when did you get back? Oh, yes. The doctor said the usual. Screw him. He eats everything that ain't tied down. This is the age they think they know everything. Rube Walker. I don't know much about baseball. Garvey betting 325 this year. He's an important card. You gotta have a Garvey. Really? Yeah. I should just give you my Steve Garvey. You know? I will. For anything you got. He's playing him, isn't he? Who the hell is Ruby Walker? <laughs> well, I'll take it. You know, my grandpa likes that. I, I sense that he thought that card was important. You? Now, he was born for you, Rocky. I gotta ask my mom. No, no, no puppy, no dog. Come on, no. why? Because uh, you never talk to the cat. You don't no. feed the goldfish, the bird, no, or the rat. No, no. Is that his dad? Mr. Guy used to know. That was good to see you. Where have you been? Like his dad? Thanks. Been okay? She talks about you. Make sure there's some blood left to donate. Oh, gosh. That's what I thought. That was an important card. Oh, did she get him the puppy? Oh, my God. Oh. I'm going to make that fat bastard eat 30 pounds of dog food. Oh, the, one, of the, one of the friends Probably gave it to him. Probably. All movies have a conflict, though, so I wonder what the conflict is going to be. I don't want to go, Mom. Yeah, when they stop running and stop making fun, they'll get to know you and think you're terrific, just like at your other school. Middle school and high school kids are... demons. <laughs> oh. Hey, kid. Take off your mask. I can feel his anxiety. Where are you, Nancy? I know. Oh. Our other new student is Mr. Rocky Dennis, also in the back. Wow, thanks a lot. <laughs> hey, what's the matter? Haven't you guys ever seen anybody from the planet Vulcan before? Beep, beep, beep. Cut it out, guys. Quack. Right to 46. Left to 16. Four. And let the bonding begin. I think he made a friend. Oh, before his mom. Does she have a problem, or is this just like a normal 80s party? I'm not sure. Whatever candle is between them, it's oh, still burning on, bright. I mean, I wish we could just get out of here and go tomorrow. Me too. Wow. That jacket's the only thing of yours that's ever going to be on my bed again. Winters are too cold back east. I wanted to see Rocky. 
Got a bad girl. Right? Kind of like a Miss Goddess contest. He's the only judge. He's a lucky guy. This guy has a lot of charisma. Face that could launch a thousand ships. And that's how the Trojan War began. <laughs> Have him teach the class. Thanks. Do it to me. This guy almost flunked me last year. It's gonna cost you. I got an A on a poem I wrote in English class. You've been a busy little boy, haven't you? Okay, yeah, she got a problem. Again tonight? Yeah, but she's always you, smoking or taking something. You're always going out. I told you to take down the tree. What's wrong, Mom? Don't go out tonight. I wouldn't do that again if I were It's none of your goddamn business. You're my mother. Yeah, well, you're not my warden. What do you call these? I found these all over the house. Man, they were planted everywhere, but it was like goddamn Christmas stockings. Don't. <sighs> How could you do that? All you care about is getting loaded and laid. Oh, he has one of his headaches. Shut up. It's my kid. I don't wait for nobody. Then get the Screw help. you. Sorry about what I said to pick him. Some. I can't think. Oh, it hurts. Don't think, just pick some. Me and Ben on the deck. Is this Spain in the morning? Mm -hmm. Make myself well. <sighs> That was inc that was very very touching. Family can fight, but it's moments like that. She is absorbing a huge amount of pain for him. Thanks for last night. Got a call this morning. Said he wants to take you to the carnival. Yeah, I'm sorry about your baseball card. That's okay. I just get scared for you more. Oh, don't be. It's bad for you. I can handle it, Mark. What's ironic about this kind of relationship is that he's actually also helping her in a way oh, that's okay. very adult for his age. I wonder what, what, what went bad between them. Maybe just they ran a bit too hot. I promised my kid. <laughs> you promised your kid. I like that. I'm going to put that with my I promised my parole officer. <laughs> Get any dope for me, lady? I didn't get any. Yeah. Uh oh. Get my mom. Oh. Think about me if you were a girl. I want to talk to another plastic surgeon. Yeah, well, the one said that you couldn't do anything to your bones time growing. Don't you understand anything, Mom? It's girls! Jeez. Oh God, no! Oh my God, no! Is she gonna pay someone? Rocky, don't do this. Rocky, honey, come on, wake up! You got a guest. Come on, Screech. This is so far she over the line. Oh, I don't believe she did this. Do, do you want to sit down? How far are they gonna take this? Why is your map all stuck with pins? Those are all the places I'm gonna go. You know, my mama used to say some people are born with no place to go. Yeah, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but I think you got a really shitty attitude. <laughs> Pretty negative. <laughs> when something bad happens to you, you gotta remember something good that's happened. You know, everyone's gotta have at least one, for Christ's sake. Oh, well, that dog's growing fast. Oh, Rocky. 
Do I look like a freak to you? No. You you think that I can't even get a girl to like me unless you pay for her. But it had nothing to do with your face. Full shit, Mom. He's under a lot of pressure right now. I mean, when you're in school, the the pressure to fit into the collective is very pronounced. It may not mean much to you guys, but it's a big deal to me. How much time is passing in this movie? Black Kim, give me another beer. No. We all chipped in. I guess that three to six month life expectancy thing in the beginning was a little bit off. For academic excellence in mathematics, Rocky Dennis. For achievement in history, Rocky Dennis. For academic excellence, Rocky Dennis. That's for family. Oh, 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 oh. I'm really real proud of you, Rocky. No way. Hey, son, it's not great. Look who's back here. Here, boy, go. This hole, this hole in your infield here. He's got his card. Oh, God. Oh, God. You're going to pick a fight, aren't you? Pop. How long you staying, Pop? Hey, already. She's trying to get rid of it. <laughs> no, Pop. I thought I'd make you something nice for lunch. You like roast? Yeah, I couldn't chew it the last time. But... <laughs> I thought the roast was delicious. These moments, they can just so turn so fast. School, uh, same old stuff. Math, history, science. Yeah, you remember that, Rusty? Yeah? Back yeah, down. I remember, Pop, I remember. The guy's name was Vinny. He also wanted to give me a little early bonus right there in his office. Rocky. Find out what time the game's on the tube, will you? Usually starts at 2.30, but I'll check. Uh-oh. He tried, honey. He really tried. Took him up. You get wasted on that crap. I ain't gonna hang around here and babysit you. You must be confusing me with somebody who gives a shit. Got to you again, didn't he? Got you ready for one of those two-hour streamers. Uh oh how deep into the hole is she? Oh, crap. Flowers and... Whoever wrote this had an excellent understanding of family dynamics. Plus, they are really good actors. Hey, you in the back. Take that mask off so I can see who I'm talking to. Well, I'll try, but it ain't gonna be easy. Gee, I'm sorry. I, I really thought it was a mask. It's okay. It happens all the time. Oh, you have one of his headaches? I guess this is really like his first time away from home for an extended period of time. Who's that? Say hello. Hi. You look like Alice. In, you know, in Wonderland. <laughs> no, what she look like? No, uh... Something tells me a bomb could go off at this place right now and he wouldn't notice. No, here, I'll take your elbow. Okay. Diane. She was some famous goddess. The Huntress, I think. Gar, I can't um, write a letter to Rocky, and I miss him. You need sleep, Rocky. No, I miss you. And you're away at camp. You're not in your room. And I'm sorry that I was bad. And, oh, Screech is here, and Gar is here. And if you got that, Gar... <laughs> <laughs> We've got some chaparral that is covering up a rolling green hill. Uh-huh. Froggy, I've been blind since I was born. I don't know green. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Some, some uh, clouds, they're, they're billowy. Rocky, I don't know billowy either. Rocky, what do you look like? Describe yourself to me. I don't look like Adonis. I've got this real strange disease. 
and it makes my face look real unreal. She doesn't care. She doesn't care. You look pretty good to me. My mom says I look like a lion. <laughs> hey, you two. Show us your pearly whites. Great. Wait a sec. Wait a second. Right what here. is it? This is blue. That's freezing. This is green. Okay, I think I understand. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, this is red. Oh and when God, it cools down, when that cools down, it'll be pink. Wow. This is so precious. Nine. Eight. Seven. Aren't you gonna kiss me? Yeah, people usually do that. Oh, here come the cavalry and all. But no motorcycles this time. This wow. movie surprised me. It's just, I was almost thinking that something like horrible was going to happen. But I think it's going to wrap up on yep. a good note. Mm -hmm. Well, it's no big deal. I met a girl. We're going out. Beautiful. She's smart and she loves me. Well. I gotta talk to you. Okay. You want some cake? Uh, no. I don't want to tell you this for a while. Well, He's not going to well, Europe. I'm going back to my dad's in Michigan. He got me a job there. It's great money. What about the trip? I'm sorry, Rocky. What about our trip, huh? Huh? Because you are stupid. You are so stupid, Ben. Oh, God, careful Rocky. here. Okay, take it easy. No more, Ben. No more taking it easy. Rocky, I'm stop it. Well, he's got a lot of emotion pent up inside of him. But I don't think he's so much mad about the trip as he's just mad about losing his friend. Oh. Get the bus. Diana? Rocky? Um, you want to excuse us and just take Harper for me? Yeah. Come on, let's talk. And I have to go away for next semester. Where? I'm leaving on Monday. The school has really good programs for the blind. Yeah. It's just that here it is, the most rotten time of my whole life. It's okay now, because I know that you still love me. Oh. I really do. We can remember camp and the mountains and the ocean. We'll always be together, Diane. Even when we can't be together. Hey, I'm up for to be it. I'm feeling kind of tired tonight, Stickman. You okay, babe? My head hurts a lot tonight. They look kind of worried. Which is making me kind of worried. I gotta go do this thing. We'll be back soon. Alright, I'll wait for you. Yeah. No, he's not here. He's at school. Yeah, I'm sure. Did he, like, sneak out in the middle of the night and he is gonna go to Europe? That's me clinging to hope because I'm starting to feel a really big rock in my stomach. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Mm -mm. No. No. Put your covers off of you. Don't pull this shit with me, Rocky. Do you hear me? Wake up. <laughs> mm. 
Now you can go anywhere you want, baby. He's everywhere now. Ooh, this movie really lulls you to a sense of... These things are good. Ice cream and cake, a ride on a Harley, seeing monkeys in the trees, and the sun shining on my face. Did he actually write this poem? I was gonna say that was a really good movie, but it's a really beautiful movie. Okay, and <laughs> I'm I'm doing a bit better now. Uh, I had to step away from uh, this in order to collect myself, and I really felt like this movie deserved more of a take a second to step back from it and think about what you're going to say. Um, both because it was a very good movie, but also because this is based on a real person. Um, <clears throat> so I have some notes. The first thing I want to say, and I think this is going to be like an overarching theme of everything I talk about. Actually, sorry, this is the first thing I want to say. The first thing I want to say is that this was a great movie absolutely wonderful, um, very touching, incredibly beautiful, and even though it made me, it, even though it pretty much destroyed me there at the end, um, I think that the takeaway from this movie is still 100% worth it. So the first thing I want to say is that I think one thing that's really different from all the movies that I've watched and reacted to for this movie is that this movie really wasn't telling a story. It was relaying a set of events, someone's life. And that life just happened to be something that I think a lot of people would find interesting. I don't even want to use the word entertaining um, it did a good job at drawing you in and making you just want to know more about, um, about the boy, Rocky, about his mom, Rusty, about their life with the bikers, um, about how, you know, whether or not he was going to get, um, the girl, like, it wasn't a story, it was a life, and, um, you know, I just, I think that that was a really good thing. And here, uh, okay, stop it, Kyle, don't do this. <clears throat> um, the next thing I want to talk about is, so the acting in this movie was super, like, on point. You know, at no point in this movie did you ever feel like one of these people was acting um, they were just really good. I've, I said that I've never seen Cher as an actress, but she blew it out of the park. She was really good. And one of the things that the acting, several of the things that the acting helped sell, the first being the family dynamics. So I'd say that this movie was, you know, his disorder his disfigurement was a definite driving force in the movie. Like it kept, you know, it kept coming up and it was uh, like that thing that was kind of hidden underneath every conversation. But the main element of this movie is definitely just family, whether it's the family that was just Rusty and Rocky whether that extends then to, I think his name was Gar, um, whether that family is the relationship between Rocky and his best friend. I don't remember his name. Um, Darren? Although that might have been the name of the actor that played him. Um, I don't think that's it. <laughs> I, the, whether it's the relationship between Rocky and Rusty and the bikers or Rocky and Sarah, 
Sarah, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. It might not be Sarah. Sarah, um... Diana. He referenced the goddess Diana. Um, whether it's between Rocky and Diana, the just, like, how the relationships were moving back and, or how the story was moving back and forth on the relationships and how they were playing out was, I think, some of the most realistic stuff I've ever seen. Um, I think they must have been drawing from source material heavily. Either that or the writers are just very in touch with the human element because, like, many times throughout this movie, you really do feel like you are peeking in on real events that must have happened, um, like real conversations that must have went down because like, and this is again, going back to the acting. Some of it wasn't even about the conversations. It was just about the choices they made, the attitudes they had that whole conversation between Rusty and her father, when her mom and dad come to visit I mean, not a whole lot was said, but, like, stuff went down. And, you know, uh, another thing, like, the conversation that Rusty has with Gar when he says he's not going to babysit her after she decides she's going to go on a bender. Um, again, not a whole lot being said, but, like, so much communication happening. Um, the scene where, uh, Rocky, uh, kind of, not introduces, but shows Diana, uh, c colors with rocks and that, I mean, a lot of that conversation was just like, oh my God. I mean, it was just so touching, but it was so freaking real. And that was just really amazing. It, like, uh, another one, I mean, I can pull like, everything out of this movie. Another one um, is when his friend um, says that he's not going to go to Europe, he's going to go to Michigan. And, you know, like I said, I don't think that Rocky was so upset about Europe. He was upset about losing a friend, but it was never actually said. Like, the writers really leaned on the actor's ability to relay information from the events, the body language, the storytelling itself rather than directly giving you that exposition of this is what's happening. And that was a really awesome thing in the movie. Um, and then I want to talk about him and his mom. So I'm not going to talk about this too much because then it starts getting into like really personal territory for me. Um, but my mom was a single mom. So you know, the, the issue with his face aside, um, I could see a lot of dynamics happening there between their relationship, um, that were incredibly relatable to me. And there were many, many times throughout this movie where I thought to myself, yeah, and I've, I've, I've had this conversation. I've been in this place, you know? Um, so again, that's why I said like, I, I get that his disfigurement was, I don't like even calling it that. I get that his face was a part of the movie and, you know, a big part of the movie. And yet in the same token, I don't know if it was a big part of the movie. Like, I think the message, if anything, that this movie is trying to get past is to look past his face and see the movie as what it is. Um, and then the last thing I want to talk about is how the movie, like, just lulls you into a sense of, oh, things are going to be okay. And then just <laughs> like, <clears throat> so here's how I thought this movie was going to go going in. Um, because, you know, this is a story that is unfortunately stereotyped, cliched, um, 
it's been written many times into many movies, I think. Like, I literally... To, I give you a hint of, like, how old I think the story that I'm about to... Um, how old the story I'm about to explain goes. I literally just got done watching Frankenstein a couple of days ago. Um, and that's from 1931. And... That, you know, the story that I'm about to reference is already, was like a thing even a hundred or, well, 90 years ago. And that is that a lot of the times when you see someone with this kind of problem in movies, movies have a very bad habit of sending a message that this person is going to get beat up, hurt or killed because of how they look. Um, and I kind of thought going into this movie that the conflict was going to be halfway through the movie, he does something that a bunch of Neanderthal idiots think isn't acceptable and they either seriously hurt him or kill him for it. Um, because again, that is a that is something that we see with a lot of people who are deemed abnormal by society. Um, <laughs> it's just a horrible message when you think about it. I remember, uh, I remember like Patch Adams and how that was just a horrible message. Of, you know, if there's there's something wrong with you, you must be inherently dangerous. And, um, you know, you're, I just, so that's what I was expecting. I was expecting that halfway through this movie, he was going to get killed. And he didn't. And the movie actually set up that, you know, he was going to, he was good. Like, I think the reason that you don't expect the death at the end is because, it happens so fast. And again, I think this is the movie being freaking real. Like, being really, really real. Um, and when uh, Rusty... I, the movie kind of started to prepare you. Like, the night before... I mean, they must have told Cher and the guy who played Gar to look concerned. More concerned than you've looked throughout the rest of the movie. Um, because, you know, it's just like, you did start to get that feeling. And by that point, I was so happy for him that I was like, no, I'm just, you know, I had my like 30 seconds of denial when she starts, when she gets the phone call that says, you know, he didn't show up for school. And I was sitting there, it's like, well, maybe he just ran away and he went to Europe. And like what I'm thinking in my head, cause or what I'm feeling in my gut is not actually what they're about to do. And then, you know, she goes in and she says that he's cold. <laughs> and, um, it was just, it was really real and it was really fast. And I think that's what really contributed to my reaction to it. And I'm guessing a lot of people's reaction to it is you're just, you're not expecting it. And even if you are expecting it, it just, it hits you really hard, really fast. Because that was what, I mean, I can look at it now. I have the movie pulled up. You know, that happens in the last minute, minute of the movie is when they actually do that. So, you know, to say that you get to the end and then in that very last second, it's like, I'm going to pull the rug out from underneath you. Of course, that's going to hit different than if they had done it 20 minutes before the ending and then, um, or built up to it a bit more. Like, you know, part of me was thinking, well, if he doesn't get killed, then he's going to get sick. Um, so I was thinking, you know, maybe he gets sick, he ends up in the hospital and we get this good teary goodbye. But again, that's movie, that's movie magic. And they went for the realness in this and they said, no, sometimes you don't get to say goodbye and things happen really suddenly. And I will need to look up 
if that is how he passed away, if he just went to sleep one night and he didn't wake up. Awesome movie. Excellent. Definitely recommend if you can find it. Um, and thank you. Thank you for the recommendation. It was really great. I look forward to all the other recommendations that come. Uh, you know, I really like horror. I really, really like horror. But movies like this, I really like them as well. Because you can't live your whole life with just the horror. Like Rocky said, for every bad thing that happens, you gotta have a good memory. Alright. Anyways... Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you next week.